So do you have a ton of photos that you want to bring into Photoshop, resize, and then export them as maybe a smaller size? Maybe so you can use them on eBay, Instagram, or maybe you want to send to a client. Well, that's exactly what I wanted to do today. And I used to do this all the time and I completely forgot how to do it. So I just went through it all and I thought, you know what, this is going to make a super tutorial because it saves you a ton of time. So let's jump into Photoshop. Okay, so we're in Photoshop and I've got all of these images here that I've taken of just some secondhand stuff I've got in the office, just some old Macs that I want to sell on eBay. And I've got a ton of photos and it takes a long time if you go through and export each one. So all you need to do is create a new action. I'm going to run through and just show you how you can do this rather than wasting your time. So the first thing you want to do is go to actions. You can see I've got mine selected here. And then we're going to create a new action by clicking here. And we're going to call this eBay export, that's what I'm using it for. Now an action, if you haven't used one before, is basically going to record everything that you do so that it can use it again. So I want to change the image size to, let's say, or oh, let's just change this to pixels. And you can see it's 4,240 pixels wide, which is too wide. I want to make this 1,000 pixels and I want to make it 72 DPI, oh, 1,000 pixels, 72 DPI. 72 dpi and click ok you can see already actually before we click that it was 34 megabytes this is going to make it 1.9 megabytes i'm going to click ok on that and then i'm going to go file save as and then we're going to save this into a new folder on the desktop called export images as a jpeg i'm going to hit save we're going to do the file size as 10 click ok and then we've exported one. But of course, how do you now export all the rest? Well, what you need to do is basically stop that action there. And then we're going to go to File. And then we're going to go to Automate. And then Batch. And now we're here in Batch. You can see we've got Set, Default Actions. The action is the eBay export that we've just done. Source is open folder, uh, opened file. Sometimes this will default to folder, but we've got on opened files because we have all of the images open in Photoshop. Destination folder. We're going to choose that exported images folder, the one that has just gone into there. We're going to cl ch click choose. I'm going to click override action, save as, and then uh, you can also of course, name your document here. Um, I'm not going to bother for this because it's just a quick upload to eBay. But if it's someone's wedding or maybe it's a, you know, a specific set of photos you're doing, you can, of course, do that here. I'm going to click OK. And then it's going to do its magic. It's going to export all of those photos super quickly. And we're going to check how it gets on. OK, so that took around 30 seconds. And now you can see we've got all of these exported images. They were 34 megabytes each. Now if we click Get Info on this one, you can see it's 171 kilobytes. It's 1,000 by 668 pixels. And that's about perfect for uploading to maybe Instagram, maybe eBay, maybe Facebook Marketplace. And that's exactly what I'm using these for. So I hope that's helped. So there we go. Did you know how to do that? Let me know in the comments section below. If you didn't, it saves a lot of time. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.